This is the latest update to my show, Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini, and uh, I haven't been updating my show in the last few months because of the COVID-19 outbreak. New Massachusetts is at the third highest rate of uh, cases of COVID-19 and deaths and things. So I've uh, the studio where I normally film the Mansfield Cable Access has been uh, shut down. But I'm hoping over the next several weeks that I might be able to get back in there and film another show. But I want to show you some of the sculptures that I had been working on. You'll recognize this, the King Kong Roaring Head that I did from uh, what a few months ago. I just want to show you a little more detail, let you see how much detail there was with the teeth. You know, on the, um, you see that? All sides. Just one to the eyes, the profile from the side. You know, there was there's a tremendous amount of detail in this piece, and I did, did spend a lot of time with it. You know, and I wanted to uh, just share it with you, and I wanted to make an update, and I just wanted to show you some of the things I've been working on. Uh, another thing that I had done recently, besides that, is my wife on Mother's Day, I made her this beautiful rose garden with multiple roses on it and I tried to make it look like um, I had brown colored clay I tamped it down with uh, it was a tin foil to make it look like soil and uh, it came out very well and see all the beautiful flowers you know I know roses are ma mainly red and, and uh, they're not purple and blue and like that but I, I just enjoyed those colors and I wanted to see if I could make something that would look really neat like that and then I had like one big rose in the center and uh, I just wanted to show you that and share that with you and uh, you know because I have done some other shows where I've shown people how to make roses on my show Creations in Clay and I want to show you some of the, my other things that I've been working on another thing that I've been working on is I had made a beautiful red cardinal and I did that with Super Sculpey 3 I started out with the regular Sculpey and I just want to show you that and uh, you know it's a beautiful piece I love Cardinals they're beautiful birds and I just wanted to show you all the detail that was on that let me see if I can zoom in a little bit there you can see that the eyes the nose area in uh, the wings see that in uh, you know even the feet I did a lot of detail with the feet I wanted to see what I did there just like that and uh, I'll put that down I want to show you some pieces that I had done in some previous shows I did a howling Bigfoot one night if you look up creations in clay Howling Bigfoot. You should be able, you'd be able to find this piece. It's very, it was very easy to make, simple, and uh, I just wanted to show you the tremendous amount of detail that's on this piece. You know, with the teeth and the jaws. You know, and I think that if somebody would like to try this, it'd be a very easy piece to do. The instruction I have on the Creations of Clay Howling Bigfoot. Uh, I think they'd be very easy to follow and uh, I just wanted to show you this I want another one of my favorite shows that I had done was on a horse head and I still keep this piece around because I, I enjoyed what I did with it and uh, you can see all the tremendous amount of detail there and uh, I just wanted to show you that and see that from all angles and another thing that I had made my wife for Christmas, I still need to paint it. I made her a beautiful snowman. So I do do other things other than animals and dinosaurs and things like that. But I made this beautiful snowman. And you can see, I'll put him down. And then we'll just kind of film around there, all the detail. You can see that I I roughed it up a little bit in the snow, or to make it look like snow, I took a tin foil and I kind of tapped it here and there, 
and I tried to make it look like snow. You know, like when you pack it together, you know, when you're making a snowman outside. I wanted to make it look like that. And, uh, you know, I also want to show you some other pieces that I'm currently working on. This here is the beginning of a great white shark. I plan to do that. I'm working on that right now. You can see the beginnings of it, the jaws, like that. And uh, I just wanted to show you what these things start to look like when I first start them, before I paint them and do all the detail work to them. Another one of my favorite pieces that I'm working on right now, and I gotta pick that up right now, it's a, a dogman sculpture. And I thought that this is a pretty cool creature. It, uh, it's a cryptid, you know, and nobody knows that they actually exist. But I'll put that, let me see, I'll move this out of the way. And I'll move that there. We'll get, you can see the detail on this. Trying to get the lighting to, so you can see the detail. But that's a dogman sculpture right there. And I wanted to make sure I got the head done first and then doing the fur. So I do have the rest of the body kind of made, but I need to add the fur and the rest of the detail to that. But uh, this, the dogmans, or what this. I guess they, they appear all around the country, supposedly. There's different reports about them, and I just thought I'd take an attempt at doing this animal because I found it very interesting because I'm fascinated with, like, Bigfoot and some of those creatures, and, and uh, I'll just uh, see. I want you to see the detail I made with the teeth. It's really cool. You can see the head. You can see that. Want you see it from above here. And that's that. So now I want to show you. I was I mentioned that I was gonna do Rodan. I did do a sculpture of Rodan, but I need to figure out how to make it so I can make it for my show so I can uh, make it into easy steps. But this is what my Rodan sculpture currently looks like. And uh, I don't know, I was, was fascinated with those things when I was growing up. You can see there, I'll just spin them around. You can see them from behind. See all the detail? His hands. I took and I just kind of roughed up the back a little bit. See how I did that? And that's what Rodan looks like from the back. And then what I did, is you can see, I'll try to show you a little more on the head right now. It, um, see that? I wish the lighting was a little better, but. Let me see if I can get them a little closer. There he is right there. The eye. And then I'll try to get closer on the mouth. See the tongue there? Kind of, let's see if I can uh, blur it out a little bit. But then I'll show you another piece that I had done. I made uh, a baby sloth. I think that's, you'll find that interesting. So I got that there. And I'll try to show you that from all sides. And I do want to thank you for coming to see some of my creations and creations in clay. And I do, uh, I do hope to be making the show like within the next several weeks, get back to the studio. I'm going to try to maybe do something here at home, but it, uh, I don't know how well it will come out using my own video camera. And, but I will give it a try, and, and I want to thank you for all of the, the, my fans to support and watch the show. I know I promised to put some stuff out there, but 
with everything going on with COVID-19 and all the stuff, like like I said, Massachusetts was with the th was the uh, third worst state in the country, and everything got shut down. So it was kind of hard to. Uh, I, I don't have access to my other studio, Mansfield Cable Access, so that's why I haven't really done anything since then, or the last couple of months. And here's another sculpture that I made. I meant to do this as a show one night, and this is supposed to be uh, a Yeti or a Bonneville snowman. And I do plan to do that for a show one day or one night. And uh, I'll show you see all the detail with the teeth, the head. It's a pretty cool looking sculpture. And I, I do want to make that. And I'll just show you. So, and, uh, you know, I try to make his eyes like reddish orange. Because I thought that would be really cool, make him look scary. And, uh, you know... Thank you for watching this video tonight, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye for now.